How's it going, people? Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Well, got my gold book out. It's a little early in the day to be reading from it, but I don't plan to drive anywhere for a while. <laughs> got a new bottle of inspiration. It's more Speeburn, uh, single malt. Yes, Lehi is going to die in chapter 4, and then things are going to start coming to pass again. Uh, so, I haven't really put a lot of thought into this, so I'm just going to wing it like I do most of these. And now I, Nephi, speak concerning the prophecies of which my father hath spoken concerning Joseph. <laughs> Yeah, so now Nephi is talking about his father's prophecies concerning Joseph, uh, who was carried into Egypt, according to uh, the book of Genesis. For behold, he, uh, Joseph from Genesis, truly prophesied concerning all of his seed to come, apparently. No pun intended. Um... Yeah, yeah. all his seed and the prophecies which he wrote are not, uh, uh, which he wrote, and the prophecies which he wrote, there are not many greater. As a matter of fact, there are not any. Joseph doesn't have any written prophecies in the Bible, <laughs> the real Bible. Uh, never thought I'd say that. Until I started reading this. <laughs> well, we had that evil church from chapter 13 of 1 Nephi. Those pricks. They probably took out all of Joseph's prophecies because they didn't want the Mormons being proved true. You know, proved right. Okay. That's what happened. That's why even though Joseph from Genesis wrote all these prophecies, we're hearing them for the first time in this book. You just got to have faith, folks. And he prophesied concerning us, because you're his seed, fruit of his loins. <laughs> and our future generations, because he was just that damn good. And they are written upon the plates of brass. And quite a few made their way into here. Wherefore, after my father had made an end of speaking concerning the prophecies of Joseph, you know, to his little baby son, who probably didn't know what he was saying, he called the children of Laman, his sons and his daughters, and he said unto them, God, he's kind of taking this out of order. I mean, everybody was getting into the boat according to their age. But his last thoughts are just sort of, uh, <laughs> you and you and, oh yeah, don't forget you and you. <laughs> no order to it. Uh, who were the sons and daughters of his firstborn? That's because Laman. Did you have to say that twice in two different ways? Jeez. I would that ye should give ear unto my words. Lend me your ears. <laughs> For the Lord God hath said that, Inasmuch as ye shall keep his commandments, ye shall prosper in the land. <sighs> and inasmuch as ye will not keep my commandments, ye shall be cut off from my presence. But behold, my sons and my daughters, I cannot go down and to my grave, save I should leave a blessing upon you. For behold, I know that if ye are brought up in the way that way ye should go, ye will not depart from it. Yeah, brainwash them young, and they probably won't stray far from those from their programming. 
Wherefore, if ye are cursed, if, we're back to if, when we know that they will be cursed. <sighs> Behold, I leave my blessing upon you, that the cursing may be taken from you and answered upon the heads of your parents. That's nice of you to do that for uh, Sariah. You want the curse on you and your wife. And I'm sure you consulted with her on that. What is it with this deferred punishment uh, and deferred blame shit? First it was a scapegoat. Then JC had to die for everyone's sins. As a matter of fact, he's dying. I mean, they're actually piling up their sins on a death that hasn't even happened yet. Because he hasn't been born yet, so he can't die yet. <sighs> now the parents are saying... Hey, even though we're about to die, uh, blame us in our cold grave if you fuck up. And let the curse be upon us, because they can have dark skin in a grave. No one's going to notice. <laughs> Wherefore, because of my blessing, the Lord God will, God will not suffer that ye shall perish. Wherefore, he will be merciful unto you and unto your seed forever. I should do a forever drinking game, but that would probably kill you. <sighs> Verse 8. Ah, I should go back to pouring shots and drink a lot less. And it came to pass that after my father had made an end of speaking to the sons and daughters of Laman, he caused that the sons and daughters of Lemuel be brought before him, last and surely least. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he spoke unto them, saying, Behold, my sons and my daughters, who are the sons and daughters of my second son, behold, I leave unto you the same blessing which I left to the sons and daughters of Laman. But let's repeat it anyway. <laughs> Wherefore thou shalt not utterly be destroyed, but in the end thy seed shall be blessed. Somehow. And... It came to pass that when my father had made an end of speaking unto them, behold, he spake unto the sons of Ishmael, yea, even to all his household. And after he had made an end of speaking unto them, he spake unto Sam, saying, Blessed art thou and thy seed, for thou shalt inherit the land like unto thy brother Nephi. And thy seed shall be numbered with his seed, and thou shalt be even like unto thy brother. Boy, high praise. Real high. And thy seed like unto, unto his seed, and thou shalt be blessed in all thy days. But I didn't it already. And it came to pass, wait, yeah, after, and it came to pass, after my father, Lehi, had spoken unto all his household, took his sweet time doing it, according to the feelings of his heart, so that's it, he went to the people he liked best first. That's really a nice message to uh, the two eldest sons, huh? Although he did conclude with Sam, but he was saving pretty much the last for best. Sam being another brown noser. <sighs> According to his feelings of his heart and the spirit of the Lord, which was in him, he waxed old. Just like pew, suddenly shriveled up, I guess. And it came to pass. Two for one. And it came to pass that he died, finally, and was buried, and not just his limbs, all of him. <laughs> when 
it came to pass that not many days after his death, Laman and Lemuel and the sons of Ishmael were angry with me because of the admonitions of the Lord. Yeah, it was probably sinking in. They were like, hey, wait a minute. I keep thinking about Pop's last words to me. And yeah, they were angry with Nephi. <sighs> For I, Nephi, was constrained to speak unto them. According to his word, get the rope, tie him up. Just kidding. <laughs> For I had spoken many things unto them, and also my father, and I'm sure they were getting sick of it, before his death. Yeah, because that would really impress him if he was doing some more talking to him after his death. But he didn't do that. That's too bad. He could have come back as a Moroni-style angel. That would have been pretty impressive. And there's an open invitation. Those angels can appear before me. I would like that. Anytime. Open invitation, angels. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll be patient. You know, it takes a while. <sighs> Many of which sayings are written upon mine other plates. For a more history part are written upon mine other plates. A more history part. <laughs> and upon these plates I write the things of my soul. And many of the scriptures which are engraven upon the plates of brass, for my soul delighteth in the scriptures, and my heart pondereth them, and writeth them for the learning and the profit of my children. Behold, my soul delighteth in the things of the Lord, and my heart pondereth continually upon the things which I have seen and heard and hallucinated. All right, that was my part, that last. Just filling in. <laughs> yeah. Good thing I don't have a mustache. I wouldn't anymore. Hmm. Behold, my soul. Uh, nevertheless, notwithstanding, the great goodness of the Lord in showing me his great and marvelous works, my heart exclaimeth, O oh, wretched man that I am! Mr. Glorious Abridger. Yea, my heart sorroweth because of my flesh. Damn flesh. Got a mind of its own. Man, every chick on the beach knows what you're thinking. Wearing that Speedo, how can you help it? Ah, damn flesh. My soul grieveth because of mine iniquities. I am encompassed about because of the temptations and the sins which are so easily beset me. Well, just get some extra wives. You'll be all right. <laughs> One for every day of the week. You know, or you could be like Solomon where you can book uh, like a decade in advance and never meet the same chick again. But that's your fucking wife and concubine and shit. And when I desired to rejoice, my heart groaneth because of my sins. Let's tell us about it. Let's hear. Let's hear about these sins. Nevertheless, I know in whom I have trusted. My God hath been my support. So God's like a jackstrap or a bra or a crutch. Yeah, I think so too. He hath led me through mine afflictions in the wilderness. God, you sound just like your dad there, Nephi. Matter of fact, you sound like every character in this book.
He hath led me through mine afflictions in the wilderness, and he has preserved me upon the waters of the great deep. He hath filled me with his love. Ooh. Hope he gave you a reach around first. <laughs> even unto the consuming of my flesh. I don't even want to know. I don't. Yeah, till on. He hath confounded mine enemies unto the causing them to quake before me. <laughs> Behold, he hath heard my cry by day, and he hath given me knowledge by visions in the night time. Sweet dreams. Have, have a good dream. Yeah. Who needs fucking science? Just take a, take a nap. Have a dream. And by day, I have waxed bold in mighty prayer <laughs> before him. God, how do you get anything done? Yea, my voice have I sent up on high. And angels came down and ministered unto me. And upon the wings of his spirit hath my body been carried away upon exceeding high mountains. Yeah, we saw that earlier on. Didn't make any fucking sense then either. And my nines have beheld great things, yea, even too great for man. Therefore I was bidden that I should not write them. God, you're a really reliable guy there, Nephi. I can see why this book is so fucking important. Yeah, can't write it. Ah. Oh, then, if I had seen so great things, if the Lord in his condescension unto the children of men hath visited men in so much mercy, why should my heart weep and my soul linger in the valley of sorrow? And my flesh waste away, and my strength slacken, because of mine afflictions. God, I need to get my violin fucking tuned. I've got a little teeny pocket-sized violin for ya. It'll fit in my watch pocket. And why should I yield to sin because of my flesh? Sound like Jimmy Swigert there, or Jim Baker, or fill in the blanks. Yea, why should I give way to temptations? Search me. That the evil one have placed in my heart to destroy my peace and afflict my soul. Well, then it's his fucking fault. Just do your best. Be a good person. Damn. Why am I angry because of mine enemy? Awake, my soul, no longer droop in sin. Rejoice, O my heart, and give place no more for the enemy of my soul. I can A. Do not Anger again because of mine iniquities. Do not slacken my strength because of mine afflictions. Rejoice, O my heart, and cry unto the Lord and say, O Lord, I will praise thee forever, or at least as long as I live, or I'm conscious, or <laughs> give a shit. <laughs> Yea, my soul will rejoice in thee, O God, and my rock of my salvation. Quit smoking those rocks. There's, there you go. You'll be all right. If you just leave that shit alone. Keep it real, brother. O oh Lord, wilt thou redeem my soul? 
Wilt thou deliver me out of the hands of mine enemies? Wilt thou make me that I may shake at the appearance of sin? <laughs> I can see a hooker asking him for a date and going, ah! Ignacio changes temple garments. Maybe they're scotch guarded. <laughs> May the gates of hell be shut continually before me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Gotta be a member. Because that my heart is broken and my spirit is contrite. Oh, God. Leave Psalms alone. God. New Testament. B-O-E. B-O-M. <laughs> they all love Psalms. Those aren't prophecies. They're fucking song lyrics. I remember I had a, I had a Bible with weird symbols along the margins. And apparently there are musical cues that we can't read anymore. It's a fucking song lyric. I mean, what? Am I going to make a big deal out of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds? Lucy, Sky, Diamonds. LDS. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> my rock and my salvation. O oh Lord, wilt thou redeem my soul? Wilt thou deliver me out of the hand of mine enemies? Wilt thou make me that I may shake at the appearance of sin? Make the gates hell of hell. Oh, wow. Totally. All right. Spirit is... His heart is broken, his spirit contrite. O Lord, wilt thou not shut the gates of thy righteousness before me? Wilt thou not shut the gates of thy righteousness before me, that I may walk in the path of the low valley? That I may... Uh, that I may be strict in a plain road, that straight and narrow path. He left that out, Biatch. O oh Lord, wilt thou encircle me around in the robe of my righteousness? God, you know, if there's a real God, you think he'd get sick of this by now? Go, shut up! <laughs> wilt, O oh Lord, wilt thou make a way for mine escape before mine enemies? Wilt thou make my path straight before me? You're either straight or you're not. That's all. Just be who you are. Don't worry yourself about it. Fuck what people think, Nephi. It's all right. <laughs> Wilt thou make my path straight before me? Wilt thou not place a stumbling block in my way? But thou... But that thou wouldst clear my way before me and hedge not up my, uh, hedge not up my way, but the ways of mine enemy. He really is your co-pilot. O Lord, I have trusted in thee, and I will trust in thee forever. I will not put my trust in the arm of flesh. Rather specific on your body parts here. For I know that cursed is he that putteth his trust in the arm of flesh. Yea, cursed is he that putteth his trust in man. Or maketh flesh, or maketh flesh his arm. Yeah, I'd rather have flesh on my arm. I'd Trying real hard to be poetic there. Sometimes he's close. Yea, I know that God will give liberally to me that, to him that asketh. Yea, my God will give me if I ask not amiss. Ah, so it is conditional. You have to enter the secret code. You have to say it just right. It's a... The Arabian Nights all over again. You better ask right. Or you're going to get what you wish for the wrong way. Yeah. Therefore, I will lift up my voice upon thee. Yea, I will cry unto thee, my God, the rock of my righteousness. 
Behold, my voice shall forever ascend up unto thee, my rock and mine an everlasting God. Amen. At least Lehi died and things are coming to pass, but... Well, anyway, one more down. Chime in if you want. Open channel. Open for video responses and comments and curses and, and people that want to tell me how wrong I am. It's all good. I'll watch. I'm paying attention. Mine's open. Peace out, folks, and be good. And have a good life.